So, so first, give me the scene when you guys arrived in Lithuania. What, what was that like for you? Um, it was cool. There was a lot of people there, a lot of cameras. I go, it was a good welcoming. What did you expect when, when you were going to walk through that baggage claim door? What did you expect to see? I expect to see a few cameras. Uh, not that much, but it was fine. So this is day five for you in Lithuania. Yeah. What, what, what's your reaction so far? Give me your, give me your thoughts on Lithuania. I like it. It's a little different than what everybody was saying it would be. It's not as cold as people were saying. Still, still a little bit colder than Chino Hills, right? Yeah, a little bit. You're not, you're not quite used to this. It doesn't shock me that much. It's not that cold out here. When your dad first told you you guys were going to play in Lithuania, where were you? Give me, give me that reaction. Give me where you were, how you found out, what you thought. I was excited just to be playing anywhere. And then when he said it would be out here with Melo, that's even better because you know, I've been playing with Melo my whole life, so I knew that would be fun. Was there much of an option for you, or was it, hey, we're going to Lithuania. This is what we got. We're going. Well, they came with me. Uh, they came at me with the choice to come here, and then obviously I wanted to do it. I, I wanted to get playing as soon as possible. How did you feel, Joe, that UCLA treated you after you, you got caught shoplifting, they suspended you, then your dad pulled you out of there? And I feel like they could have told me, like, how long I'll be suspended for, or at least, like, give me some information instead of just having me wait around. But I don't know. I'm just glad I'm here right now. If I had told you a couple months ago that you'd be in Lithuania playing professional basketball, what would you say? I will say that's, that's cool. I'm ready for it. I mean, because... That's like, not everybody gets to be a professional basketball player, so that's just good information to hear. So the team set up this big baller showcase for you guys, where you're going to play five games against kind of your age group. Mm -hmm. A lot of 18, 19, 20-year-olds. How did you feel about that when you heard about it? Well, that's cool. I'm, I'm excited to play anybody. I don't care what age they are. It's, it's just a good feeling being able to play. What do you think the, the most difficult adjustment will be for you guys on the court? Uh, it's not really a difficult adjustment because basketball is basketball. I mean, the game gets stronger and faster, of course. You know, people are saying it's going to be uh, like they keep telling me it's going to be super physical, but really everywhere you play is physical, whether it's in the NBA or overseas. I mean, you just got to be ready for anything. The communication barrier. How was that so far with your teammates and your coach? Communication is not that bad. Uh, my teammates can speak English pretty good, uh, most of them. And then um, with the coach, he like his movements and stuff allow me to know what he's saying. And then also the teammates help me with that. So it's not hard at all. What was that first practice like? You know, you're going in, you don't know anybody. What, what was it like for that hour and a half, two hours during that first practice? Well, it's fun. I mean, it was fun for me being able to practice like that. I mean, they play like running and shooting and stuff, so I caught on to that quick. You don't really have to know somebody to play that way. And I got to know my teammates quick, and uh, also Melo was out there, so it was, it was cool. What did you think of the level? Because you didn't know coming in still, you know, what level of competition it was going to be like. When you saw your teammates, then you were able to probably judge whether you could play against these guys or with these guys. What did you think of them talent-wise? Well, I feel like I could play with anybody before. Like, I never go in just thinking that people are better than me. So everywhere I go, I just feel like I could play with anybody. Um, work out or practice with the team, then come back, eat dinner, take a nap. Just playing and, playing and eating and sleeping, really. You on your phone a lot? Well, I'm on my phone. I watch TV, watch Netflix. What have you been watching? Well, right now, I watch a show called Riverdale. Ah, oh, my daughter loves it. No, no, loves it. 
I don't know. I, I you know, I'm caught watching some of it. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not. I, I think maybe we want to delete that. What? Well, no, it's cool. You like that? Yeah, for right, sure. Right. I'm too old for it. I think that's the problem. My wife's not though. She watches it with her. Mm. Uh, so you just started that or no? Uh, yeah. What else? You watching games at all? Yeah, you trying I watch to watch the games. games. I watch the games when the Lakers play and stuff. Did you watch Lonzo here? Did you get up that early? Uh, I tried to. It wasn't <laughs> on my TV though. Really? I was up, but my TV didn't get it. So really? they're setting that up right now. So you can watch tomorrow, uh, yeah. it, Monday morning. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that. Four thirty, I think. Fine. You gonna go to sleep or are you just gonna stay up? No, I'm gonna sleep. You till, sleep? Yeah, until it comes on. Set the alarm. Yeah. How much? How much conversation? How have you talked to Alonzo since you've been here? Uh, not that much. Like he's been busy practicing and stuff, getting back, getting back on the team. And uh, I've been busy too, so. You been texting him? What do you, how do you communicate with him here? Talk? Will you FaceTime him? Will you text him? I'll text him? him. I'll text him. You will? I'll probably FaceTime him in the future. But so far, it's just been texting? Yeah, not that much either. Just like little stuff here and there, like what you're doing. So. I mean, do you get advice from him going into this? Or are you kind of on your own and you don't? No, he tells me stuff like just be ready for anything. As far as like going in and play your hardest, stuff like that. Do you feel at all like you got to be the older brother here to Mello? I mean, 16, I think the youngest U.S. professional maybe ever. Do you, do you feel like you got to be that older brother? Well, I'm going to be here to help Mello regardless. Um, we know how each other play. I feel like he's going to be all right, too. I mean, Mello adapts quick, so I'm not worried about him like as far as playing wise. But you're like 230. He's uh, he's about a buck 65. It's gonna be a little bit different physical wise, isn't it? He's fast and smart though, and he knows the game, so that should help. What's it like for you having your mom here after where she was at a year ago at this time? It's great having my mom around. I mean, I'm sure she's happy to see us here, and I'm me and Melo, of course, are happy to have her here. Instead of just having her in the hospital or whatever, so it's cool. What types of conversations did you have and, and do you, how has it been different with you and maybe your interactions with her over the, the last year? Oh, me and Melo still conversate with her. Um, we still laugh. She knows what we're saying. You know, joke at the dinner table. It's still, it's still very close. Does it, does it change, I guess what I'm asking is, does it change your appreciation of life and everything that's gone on, does it, does it make you appreciate her and, and not take things for granted as much? You know, we always appreciated her. We don't really take nothing for granted. I mean, even when she was well, whether she's like that, we're going to appreciate her always. So it didn't change much. Where are you going to be in a year, you think? In a year, I see myself in the NBA with Zoe and Melo. Mello, I don't think Mello can go in a year. Yeah. I think that's against the rules. Well, we'll I think you'd be too young. I don't know. I don't know if Adam Silver would allow that one. Mm. But you and Zoe, you think you and Zoe yeah. on, the, on the Lakers next year? Yeah. And Mello, who knows? I don't know. I know. If you could go to the NBA. Yeah, I don't think I don't, I don't think that could be possible. But I could be wrong. Maybe you know, maybe yeah. something crazy will happen. Uh, all right, let me make sure what else I got here uh, that I didn't hit. Uh, I'm curious so far, how, ask him how basketball is different here. Okay, yep. Style of play. One practice, not easy to say, but we'll, we'll go with it. Um, how is basketball different here in Lithuania compared to in, in the States? Well, basketball is basketball, really. It's no like, it's not really very different. It's still like, you're still running, shooting, and playing. And it's, uh, like I said, the game's physical everywhere, so that's not much of a change. It's just basketball. So I asked your dad how much money you guys were getting paid. He said it doesn't matter. I said, but kids, you know, you want your, your paycheck, don't you? Don't you want to see how much money you're making? No, no, it doesn't matter to me either. Like, I'm just happy to be playing every time. You know, I love the game of basketball, so when I'm playing, that's enough. You don't think LeVar's packet, uh, pocketing your, your, your paycheck there, the big money that you're making? <laughs> He Spending got, it? He got his own brand. What do you, what do you need to do that for? <laughs> when, when are you getting your shoes? When's your shoe line coming out now that you're pro? Uh, they're coming out soon. Uh, people should look into that. And I'll, have them, I'll be wearing them soon, probably. 
What else? Anything else from either one of you guys? I forgot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. That's a good one. Uh, so your team played yesterday in Vilnius, yeah. and you guys were supposed to go, and then you didn't because of the the crew. Mm. They wouldn't. They didn't want the crew in there. Um, what was your reaction to that? I don't really have like too much of a reaction. I know me and Melo are gonna come in and help them out. Uh, me and Melo are gonna help them a lot, actually. So did, did you want to go though to support them? Well, uh, yeah, that's my team. I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll like. I mean, it doesn't. It probably don't bother them. I guess. But I think a lot of people would say, "Listen, if you're if you're on the team now." Oh, yeah. Why not go and cheer them on and get to know them a little bit more? And make we that already trip? know them from dinner and stuff. And then, uh, of course, the practice. So they already know how we are. Um, we got close in those moments. So that should be cool. I mean, I don't think they're tripping too much off of us not going to the game like that.